Okay, thank you very much. And as, as John said, it's really good to be back in the uh, Jade Software Corporation. Um, I think I'd like to start, if it's okay, just to introduce the team. Some of you you'll know, some of them you won't. So let's, um, let's start with Bob Davis. Uh, Bob, um, obviously, uh, we associate very much with the uh, IDE, uh, but also a huge part of the product he's now involved with. So. Yes, yeah, have to dance across the screen, Bob. You can have a seat as well. Look at that. You get a seat well, with the green sticker on. Uh, Janet Fisher, of course, documentation and, and education. Very familiar. Um, John Porter, uh, who um, some of you probably don't know John quite so well. John uh, is very much the backroom boy. He works uh, very much in our <coughs> test infrastructure, keeping that up to date and testing in general. Um, also quite an expert in terms of Jade system performance. Thanks, John. Uh, Ty. Ty is the team leader for the developers. Uh, Ty has, has been with us a while. He started in support, uh, really very valuable member of the team, but have, uh, does a bit of everything. Nicholas, this Nick, Nick Scott, you probably some of you would already know Nick. Uh, Nick is our, uh, largely our kernel man. He's responsible for some interesting things that are in the product today. Uh, Jerry, uh, this is Jerry O'Brien, uh, our database man, and been around for quite a while, so most of you will know him. <laughs> <laughs> and the support and testing team, we have Tom. Uh, who you <laughs> I'm sure you've, uh, you've conversed with Tom via passes. And, uh, oh, sorry, Carsten, I forgot, a developer. Sorry, Carsten. I was doing all the developers together. Carsten is probably our newest recruit, been with us. How long have you been with us, Carsten? One and a half. One and a half years. And uh, uh, Carsten is also responsible for some of the interesting features in uh, 2016. Thanks, Carsten. And uh, we, we haven't got all the sport team here today, but we do have Sarithi, who, again, you're probably familiar with uh, from seeing him. Uh, <laughs> You have to come in a bit, I'm afraid, Sarithi, so they can, you have to come. <laughs> Otherwise they can't see you. It'll wave <laughs> at the camera. Yeah, right, brilliant. And last of all, Simon, uh, who is also part of the sport and testing team. Simon, thank you very much. Okay, um, interesting time for us to join because it's the 20th anniversary. Uh, we had a 20th anniversary party in October. So after 20 years, we looked um, both back and forwards. So we look back at what we'd achieved and what were the key elements um, that we saw in the product 20 years ago. And they were largely around speed of development, getting applications together quickly, and also a very reliable and robust um, production environment. But of course, at this stage as well, after 20 years, you start to look at what's going to go forward, what we're going to do new to the product, what we're going to add. Um, and so before we get into what's in 2016, I'd like to just take a time to look at where we get the inspiration, where we get the ideas from. And so just have a look about the sources that we have. And they tend to fit into four categories. There's you, the customer base, of course, and uh, probably the most important um, of our sources. Um, there's what I've referred to as real industry changes. Obviously, we're a little bit more careful now about getting, you know, picking on trends that maybe not going anywhere. So we're looking for real industry changes. And um, at the moment, we're just focusing on a couple of those, and we'll talk about those a bit later. Uh, Insider trading, these are people who've got specialised knowledge, you know, developers, but a, a number of areas, but people with um, inside knowledge that know about how the product's structured. And there's obviously, of course, the odd eureka moment that we get from time to time. Okay, so let's have a look at customer feedback. Obviously customers we see as our best source, but we need to encourage them. And as far as we're concerned, there's only one way to encourage customers to give us uh, not only feedback, but suggestions, and that is to actually respond to all the suggestions that are coming in. So to that end, we've introduced um, an NFS review panel. Uh, we started, uh, probably about 11 months ago. Um, and basically we get the, all of the developers, uh, John Ashcroft and myself, in a room, and we're working through NFSs from the most recent going back. Um, in the first few months of doing this, we, we made great progress we, into the backlog. And in fact, I think it, um, everything from about June 2015 all the way through to July 2016, we've processed a lot. Um, but of course, word got out. People started to understand that we were uh, working through the NFSs, and so uh, the number of NFSs went up, and we're now uh, having to meet more often to get through the backlog. 
So when we, when we meet, we look at four areas when we're reviewing each NFS that comes in, you know, relevant to the product direction, um, <coughs> the number of customers affected, obviously, we want to give the, the biggest uh, bang for the buck, as it were, um, the level of risk uh, to, to the, the product and to all customers, and uh, of course the cost, because we, we want to uh, you know, use our money wisely. Um, so over that period of time, we've probably looked at uh, about 200 odd NFSs. Uh, of that, just under 100 have been approved. And of those, uh, about half of that, so 40, 50, are in 2016. Um, so some of them are, we're going to mention today, but some are quite small. Uh, so I would advise, well not advise, but I would suggest that you all have a look at the release notes when they come out, because there's lots in there. Some of it is, is, is quite small detail, and we're not going to cover that off today. Um, so the other area of uh, input, of course, is single topic uh, workshops and, and, and some of you here today were at the source control uh, workshop we, heard, uh, we had earlier in the year and um, much of what came out of that workshop will, will, will fashion how we're going to go forward with source control going forward and we plan to have more of those single topic workshops uh, going through into next year. Uh, industry changes, we're just focusing on two at the moment. We're focusing on the cloud, and I use that in the widest possible context, so any situation where uh, people are running their systems on somebody else's hardware, somebody else is taking some responsibility there. So that whole area, and we'll be obviously focusing very much uh, around operational aspects there. And the other one is user experience. Um, almost all new system um, uh, re requirements now include a user um, experience context. Uh, JSC, for example, um, amongst all their developers now, in, now employ four uh, user experience uh, consultants which are used um, throughout new application development and in fact we're going to use some of them uh, with Jade going forward. In terms of insider trader, I mean all sorts of things come under this. Mainly the plant, uh, the developers are extremely good source, uh, they, they know the structure of the product so well they can suggest um, uh, how quickly and how easily certain things can be done and how we can free up um, uh, areas that were uh, restricted in the past. Uh, support's obviously a classic one, um, if support get a number of queries or a number of problems in a particular area, and that's something for us to focus on. Uh, testing um, is, is, is uh, another area where we'll find things that are hard to test, and if they're hard to do the setup for the test, that probably means we can make them simpler. Um, operations, uh, obviously we're fortunate here that the JSC has a large operations group uh, running lots of Jade uh, environments, and they're a good source of, uh, of suggestions to us. Um, documentation might seem the odd one out here, but when you start documenting a new feature, uh, and it, if it sounds complex, it probably is, and there's probably something we can do to make it uh, simpler, even in terms of things, how we name things in the product. And uh, I put management up there just to, just to get a laugh from the developers. Um, I'll just say more, more about that one. So we've got three broad um, areas of direction for the product. Productivity is a cornerstone for the J product, so we're, we are constantly looking at ways we can improve productivity going forward. Um, you'll see a lot of that in uh, the 2016 release, and we want to take that forward, and we're looking for any suggestions that would help that productivity. Um, and we're seriously reviewing all those and, and seeing what we can get into the product. Um, a better user experience um, for end users, and of course, for a product like J, there's two sets of end users there's yourself, the people that are building products with Jade, and there's your end users. So we're looking at both those, both trying to make the IDE easier to use, but also to give you some more facilities to make uh, the, end, the end user experience of your product uh, better. And lastly, of course, to make Jade easier to manage. Um, we mentioned earlier about the cloud and, and, and people having r r their systems remotely controlled. Well, we need to make uh, our utilities and uh, the way we manage Jade faster and, and easier to use. Okay, so under productivity, uh, there are a number of areas. One obviously is the IDE, and uh, we've got some, I think, really nice features to show you today in the IDE, which should make your life easier and more productive. Um, we're 
understand that our, our world is, is uh, more complex and we're interfacing to other technologies and we need to make that interface process quicker, faster and, um, and also easier to diagnose. In terms of, of building applications, we're constantly looking at how we can make the Jade language more richer. <coughs> so you'll, you'll see in the release today, we've, we've put some language extension in. Um, we're very cautious here. We want to keep Jade a simple, elegant language. Um, but if we, if we can find uh, areas that will make your life more productive, then we will consider those. And lastly, and this probably is a, a favourite from, 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 of mine, because if you're running a, a development shop and you've got plans about developing new, new content and you go to the developer and say, how are you getting on? And he says, oh, I have no chance to look at that because I'm trying to diagnose this problem from this customer over here. Um, I think we can make big productivity gains if we can help um, in the diagnosis area. And again, <coughs> we'll talk about that in more detail when we get to 2016. Um, in terms of end user experience, we've, we've had this sort of them and us situation uh, in the past. We've been suggesting to people that they use other technologies for their presentation layer. Um, but the feedback we're getting from a lot, of, a lot of customers is that actually we like the Jade Thin client, uh, we just like it to look a bit different. And so we're going to put some effort into the Jade Thin client. Uh, we're going to see how that might look when we come to the new look of the IDE. But basically, we're going to uh, revisit skins, and we're going to use. You'll see the use of skins in the IDE later on. But we're going to tr we're going to focus on that to try and make that easier and simpler for you to put a skin on your application and make it look more modern. Okay, in terms of managing um, Jade system, there's two areas we're going to look at: development area. These are things such as source control and release preparation. These are areas which can take up a lot of development resource, so we're going to try and reduce that. And in terms of uh, production, there's deployment, um, there's secondaries and RPSs, these things all take time to manage and there are some complexities that we think we can pull out. Um, and lastly also the utilities and what, one of the things we want to do uh, in terms of utilities, make them easier to use. If we're going to uh, prosper in an environment where people are using the cloud, then we've got to make the utilities easy to use and quicker. So they're the areas we should be concentrating on. So let's have a look at 2016, which if uh, we, we're thinking at the moment is the start of, of many of these, um, these three areas of the product direction. So we're going to cover this under a number of headings. The first one is appearance. We'll look at what you can do for a Jade app, and the example, of course, is the IDE. Uh, we'll look at user experience, what we've added in to the product uh, that you can add into your applications to make them look better. Uh, productivity, we've covered a number of areas here. Um, development enhancement, enhancements, we're looking at things like new language structures. In terms of the IDE, we're looking at new features there which will make your life easier so you can keep better tabs on what you're doing um, and, and, and manage your environment better. Uh, diagnostics, we're going to look at in two instances here. We're going to look at um, how we can get information for, from when exceptions occur in .NET, but also we're going to look at how you might resolve or investigate uh, locking problems within your applications. Um, and uh, in terms of the .NET environment, we've made that a little easier to interface to and there's some uh, additional uh, parts to the web services. Uh, in terms of managing a Jade system, we're going to start, whoops, sorry, we're going to start by looking at the upgrade process. And I think it's probably important to notice that, or to mention for 2016, there, there is no migration. So uh, it's just a st <laughs> Just a straight upgrade. And uh, indeed, if you're not using Install Shield, the upgrade process has been made greatly simpler. Greatly simpler? <laughs> has been made simpler. OK, so um, what I'm going to do, we're going to now look at the appearance of the product. I'm going to hand you over to um, the graphics team. I'll introduce uh, Gray Rathjen, who's head of our graphics department. And he's going to explain what they've done with the look and feel of the Jade product. <laughs> 